Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna install some hello horn, super tone, and some Subi Speed fault light bezels. Let's go! We're gonna need a 10mm socket wrench and a flathead screwdriver for some bolts on the top of the, uh, the bumper and some pins on the bottom. Pop these out, pull it out, there you go. To remove this clip, you need to push the pin in. Now you can pull it out. So once you have all the bolts and the pins removed, time to take off the bumper, like that. Okay, the next step is to remove the, the OEM horn with a 12 millimeter socket. Unplug it. Next, we're gonna remove this one and this bolt and this push pin in here. Next, we will be putting on the bracket right here to here. Next, put this pin back into the face. Here's the second horn that you need to remove from, from the passenger side. Unplug it. Once you have your wire set up, put the horns into the bracket. Because it's vibrating a lot, I'm putting it on this hole right here instead of this one. I'm gonna put it on this one. Now it's time to plug the wires into the horn. So I actually found that the harness that SubiSB gave isn't long enough to plug into this. So I'm not sure if this is a 2019 thing, but uh, my harness is not long enough to fit all the way over here on this plug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, use a wire to extend from here all the way to here. You need uh, electrical tape and wrap this around.
So we have extended our harness and now we're gonna wire this over this foam piece here into it. And now we can plug this into the horn. Put everything back. The zip tie. Zip tie everything back. When you have everything wired back out, time to plug these back into the horns. Okay. So once everything is wired back out, test it, and everything works, now you're good to go. Job done. Since we have the bumper off, we're gonna install the Subi Speed fault light bezel. What we're gonna do now is gonna pop this on off, and we're gonna do it by pushing it on the on the back side. So once you have this out, since we have the bezel off. I can access to the fault lights, so I'm gonna actually gonna tint the fault lights with these yellows overlay. Let's take these out first. There's two bolts in the back. Unscrew it. And they slide out. After you take out two flip um, screws. So once you have that, give it a little really clean and then we're gonna So when you have your lights ready to go, all tinted, time to put it on. this harness and then put it onto our car from there 
run alongside there. So for those of you who has a WRX that have a turn signal at the bezel, you can use these plugs. But mine car in the 2019 Limited, it doesn't have those turn signals at the bottom. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make your own two wires like these. You can see it. These ones make two long wires and then splice that wire with the blue wire. What this does is this will help you um, tap into your factory turn signal at the headlight and then that signal will go into your fault light bezel and we have that sequential or non-sequential turn signal at the bezel. Okay, let's wire this up. So first, I wire the ground wire into this bolt right here, located near the uh, water vessel board. Right there. So install that and through here and up through the headlight. So next, after we have the wire, we're going to do that bracket down here. So those of you who has a, um, that bought the sequential lights that comes with the uh, turn off signal for the sequential, what you want to do is you want to wire this up through the headlight. Through the headlight. Kind of difficult. Got this. So, what I'm gonna put is right here. So, lift this a little bit. Okay. Right there. Okay, so, for this eye, we're going to do the same thing as that side. We're just going to wire this up through the headlight. And then up on this side. Lift this up a little bit and tuck it in right here. Next, you're gonna pull your um, take off your turn signal and your headlight, and then follow the yellow wire, which we're gonna clamp splice this into. So use your splice that came with the kit. Now we're gonna try to clamp this down to the yellow wire. So once you have that, run your yellow wire up through your headlight. Now plug your tab into your splice put this back into your headlight all done 
So next, you want to bundle everything and zip tie it to here. Bundle everything together. So once you have all your wires and your hardness um, tied down, next we're gonna go to your fuse box. Let's open this up. What we want to do is we're gonna your add a few. So we're gonna cut this tab off. This one. So what you have is this right here. Next we're gonna plug this to this hole in here. That way. Okay, so now tuck your wire alongside the juice box. Now we're just gonna have to put this Fuse box cover back on. Because the tabs on the bezel doesn't fit quite well on the bumper, it leaves a gap around the area on the edges. So I'm heating up these tabs with a heat gun to soften these up and bend it back so I can put these on and have no gaps on the corners and the edges of these bezels. It's all clipped in, except for this one, just a little bit. Okay, next, connect your connectors back to your fault light and 
your fallout bezel. Clip. There it is. Clip. Do that on both sides and we're done. So once you have everything plugged in and ready to go, you're ready to put this back onto the bumper. But before that, we're gonna test test it and see if everything works before we put everything back. Now everything works, we can put it back together and let's test out the sequential light. Sequential light. Let's test out the DRL. Okay, we tested everything, everything works, right? So once you have everything plugged in and ready to go, we're gonna put this one back on like this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you next time.